so far we dealt with uh, 12 cities in the United States. We identified general patterns and actually identified specifically um, which cities are uh, uh, more uh, volatile uh, with regard to urban heat island effects. Urban heat island effects is the phenomenon that the temperature within a city is typically higher than the temperature outside of the city, which in summer requests us to use more air conditioning. So identifying here uh, the one the sources of these urban heat island effects, but even more so the link between a city texture, layout of buildings, the way how they are uh, interacting uh, with each other, and the potential for these urban heat island effects is of utmost critical importance in order to advise city planners, architects, uh, um, and others, and the government, uh, what to do in order to improve the sustainability energy consumption of our cities. The novelty of our approach is actually is that we use methods designed for complete other scales, molecular scale, incorporate them into the treatment of city. Basically atomizing cities on a simulation base, identifying the relevant parameters and by doing so using the whole toolbox of statistical physics in addressing the complexity of cities. City planners typically use just first order information like density, population density, as tools of planning. But what we recognize actually is that it is not just this average value of density which matters, but actually local variations from one area to another. And that they actually become, that's what we call city texture, that this city texture actually matters as we look into uh, vulnerability, resilience and uh, energy reduction environmental footprint of our cities. So our approach is, is based on molecular science. It is the fundamental idea of molecular science that you look at a certain atom and you look where do I found, find another uh, silica or another calcium in my vicinity and the way how they are ordered is a fundamental information in the design of materials or medical science. Now we do prin principally the same thing with buildings. Each building for us is an atom and we look uh, at uh, the distance in which we find another building and another building and we do this for all type of buildings all over a city and by doing so we recognize certain patterns and these patterns are exactly akin to what you would obtain if you test a glass or a liquid. A liquid specifically has basically no uh, uh, order. It has amorphous in all directions. Uh, in, by contrast, if you take a crystal, a crystal has very clear structural patterns which emerge at m short range or long range uh, interactions, which is readily understood that Chicago has such a crystal uh, structure given that it was laid out on a on a grid. Now, how does that help this information? Well, for one, when we look at uh, urban heat island effects, the difference of temperature between inside and outside of the, of the city, then the more disordered such a city is, the lower, it turns out, are these urban heat island effects. So disorder actually helps uh, uh, to reduce urban heat island effects. So ultimately we hope that these become tools for city planning.